That looks nice, Monique. You like that one? No. I am very, very particular. <laughs> You're picky. They call me Bougetta because my mom says I'm a little just over the top. I like everything just extra and the way I like it. Look at this one. This is so pretty. That's a lot going on. I that's why I love it. Hello, ladies. I'm looking for Monique. Hi. 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 I'm Mindy. You? So who'd you bring with you today? I have my mother, Joy, and my mother-in-law, Tiffany. Hi, Tiffany. Hi, how nice are you? to meet nice you, to ladies. Meet you too. Welcome yeah. to Kleinfeld. Do you have any idea of what you're thinking about wearing? Yes, absolutely. Great. It's a non-negotiable. I want Pantora Bridal. Yeah. I love her silhouettes. I love the mermaid style. I love a long train. And I love off the shoulder. So it's actually really great that you mentioned Pantora because she's a brand new designer for us and we're actually having a trunk show for her right now. So I'm really, really excited to kind of explore this collection with you. Well, Monique doesn't really know what's out there. She's very tunnel vision and just saying, this is all I want. But if she sees something else and maybe try it on, she might, she might not. I envision for her to show a little skin. Okay. Needs to be a little sexy. Okay, how do you feel about that, Monique? I wouldn't, no. <laughs> Usually it's the opposite. Usually the bride wants to show off more skin and the mom doesn't, so this is really interesting. My vision and my family's vision are two different things. My son doesn't want to see a little thigh, so something with maybe a split. She doesn't want a split, but a split isn't hoochie. That a split can be very classy and sexy. Okay. My fiance's name is Christopher Campbell. We actually met um, reading the Bible app. I love that he's a man of God. And we first fell in love and grew a spiritual bond, you know, before we ever started like really talking or courting. So I know this is a divine connection and our wedding is going to be in the church. So I am not looking forward to a little baby's eye. <laughs> so when is the wedding? Three months. Yes. Yes. Okay. Pressure. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's uh, that's a, a little on the closer side. Yeah. Not not impossible. You are at Kleinfeld. Do we have a price point we want to keep in mind? Yeah, anywhere from two to four thousand. Perfect. So Monique, you're gonna come on back with me. You ladies are gonna go ahead and take a seat over there. Let's okay. do it. Yes. This is for you. Yeah. So take a look. So I enlisted the help of Randy. He is with us via video chat. Awesome. Ooh. And all of these dresses are mermaids. So we're off to a good start with the shape. Mm -hmm. But we did bring a few different options style-wise. So this one right here, a little bit more minimalistic. Um, this one is a V-neck, just to see a different shape and see how you feel about that. These three are strapless. Um, is there anyone in particular that's kind of jumping out at you saying, Monique, try me first? Minnie, don't hate me. Uh oh. I don't like any of them. Really? Yeah. Huh. It is very rare that I bring in five dresses from a particular designer that a bride is interested in, and she does not like a single one. Oh, why? So this one, I'm not in love with the V, of course. This one, I don't particularly love the heaviness of the material, because I'm getting married in July, so I it's a little it heavy. A heavy this one too, I'm not a fan of this V The V, right okay. Here. I want sexy, but not hoochie. They're two different things. I do love the bling on here, if it was kind of like... So she can customize it a little bit closer together. We can make it like a soft sweetheart and give you like an off-the-shoulder strap, so it gives you a little bit more of that modesty. I, I'm open to that. Try it! I mean, the worst thing is you hate it and you take it off, right? Right? Mm -hmm. right? Okay. It checks off some of the boxes, not all. But I'm thinking if I can get in this dress, I can at least see, you know, the vision um, that I'm looking to see. What do we think? Um, you're not, I can see it in your face, you're not a fan. I think it's the V that's just throwing me off. I can't envision it being closed. But I love the shape, I love the bottom, I love the bling. I think just the upper half. I don't want to show my family this one. 
It doesn't check off all my boxes. I don't want to get their hopes high. Like, this is the dress I'm going to pick. Uh, what about either of these? Because these are going to be more close to the shape that we could customize this dress to be. Oh, I can try that one. Yeah? Yeah. OK, let's do it. I really don't want to put her in a dress that she's not excited to try on. But I'm still trying to figure out how I'm going to move forward from here. Wow. This is beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to show them this dress? Yeah, let's show them this one. I'm feeling unassused in this dress. I'm not feeling much of anything in this dress, but my family is just waiting for me to try something on so they can see something on me. Oh my God! All right, ladies, dress it. number one. That's pretty, Mo. Oh. And we have a special guest here. We've got Randy. Hello, beautiful ladies. Hi, Randy. There's Monique. How are you? Good. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. You look beautiful. Thank you. Ooh. I love the mermaid style. I think I'm not really feeling too much what's going on up here in this area. What is it that you don't like up here? I can't really explain. I can't really explain what, I just don't love it. I don't think it's enough blingy up here for her. Yeah. I think that's what's missing for her. So the dress that we did not come out in was a little bit blingier. You tried that one on? I did. But we didn't see it. I have Whoa. to catch you guys up to speed on what the last few minutes has been like. We can imagine. We can imagine. Oh yeah. <laughs> so. And she's saying, no, no, I don't like this, no. I think everybody's starting to see what I'm saying about her being Bougetta and how picky <laughs> she is. Randy, my family calls me Bougetta. Bougetta, what does that mean? Very over the top. <laughs> don't ask me how to spell it, Randy, I don't know. <laughs> B-O-U-G-I-E-T-A, I don't know. Okay, so why don't we go pull some more dresses and let's see what we can find for you. Okay. I need to get out of this dress and find something that I love. Come with me down this way. Monique came in really, really wanting to be a Pantora bride. So I really want to exhaust all the options possible with Pantora before I show her any other designer. Too much, yeah? Too much ruffle. No ruffles. Don't worry, we'll get there. I don't love the top. I know for certain I'm a Pantora bride, but I think I stumped Mindy. I'm not seeing any off the shoulder. I'm not seeing anything that's really closed up. There's not one dress that I liked from the rack. We have gone through the Pantora dresses. Let's visit some new designers. Okay. My heart's crushed a little bit because I really, really wanted to find a Pantora dress, um, but we'll see what else is in store. Can I come in? Yes. Okay, so I've got some dresses here for you. Do either of these catch your eye? There's nothing that I'm seeing at the moment that I like. That first dress that we tried on, mm -hmm. aside from the plunge, imagine that the plunge isn't there. Yeah. Imagine that we add a beautiful off-the-shoulder strap. Mm -hmm. Is there anything about that that you don't like? No. Monique! I just cannot picture it. <gasps> okay, okay, I, I hear you, but I can work with that. Okay. I can work with that. That is the closest that we've gotten to it. I'm gonna go grab the dress. Give me a second. Okay. Oh gosh, I'm so sleepy. We're sitting here, we were waiting, and we're waiting. I knew it wasn't gonna be a quick pick. I knew that, but not this long. Long time no see, we are in a gown. So we're back in number one that you guys didn't see. Because this dress used to have a plunge. We, we kind of makeshifted it a little bit. But you need a little skin out. My shoulders are out. You don't want it? Okay, she don't want it. Did you add the sleeves or the sleeves were there? We added the sleeves, one arm with a thick strap, one arm with a thin strap. Yeah, I like the thicker. I like the thicker as well. The thinner one looks like almost like a spaghetti strap kind of fell off. I agree with you, Randy. And the thicker strip is, yeah, is the thicker prettier. 
Yeah. Monique, tell me what you're feeling. Um, I love, I mean, the way it's modified, I actually love the dress. Oh. <laughs> Do you want to see it with something on your head? Sure. Yeah. Thank you. Of course. This dress checks every box for me. I love, love, love the off the shoulder. I love how nice the sweetheart looks in the front. I love the shape of the dress and I'm loving the bling. Oh, oh that is pretty. Oh, now I'm going to have tears up. Oh, yeah, mm. Monique. Oh, don't do that, because she's even tearing up. Yeah, Randy, Randy um, there's some emotion oh. happening here. Tearing up, Randy, you can't see me. Everyone's tearing <laughs> up. The entire group is. I love it. I don't want to mess up Monique the Monique got uh, tears coming all down her face. <laughs> Yeah, I think it really just hit me. Like, you're in a moment in time where you're wearing your wedding dress and seeing everything together, it was beautiful. Can I talk about how this was the first dress she put on? <laughs> yes. Is this the first one you should... So this was the first dress that she had tried on that we did not come out in. <laughs> Wait a minute, so we just spent four hours and it was the first dress? <laughs> it's definitely a bougetta dress. <laughs> My mom bought her dress here like 35 years ago, so I think for her it would be so cool for her to buy her daughter's dress here. But I've shopped twice before and I hate everything. <laughs> Good luck to me. Imagine you walking in with a dress bigger than you. I grew up dancing and I own a dance studio on Long Island. So dealing with so many dramatic costumes and rhinestones and feathers, I've kind of been jaded that I just feel like nothing exceeds my expectations anymore. I'm kind of stressed. I'm looking for Jessica. Hi. Hi, how are me. you? You nice are so you. beautiful. Thank you. I can't take it. This is going to be fun Thank to you. dress you. <laughs> and you guys are? I'm Mary Beth, her mom. Nice Hi. to meet you. I'm, jo I'm Jamie. I'm her sister. I'm Amber. Nice to meet you. So is this your first time shopping? No, this is no. not my first time shopping. Okay, so what happened the first time you went shopping? Did you guys learn anything? Has there been a lot of dresses or...? I learned that I'm very picky. Okay. I, I will tell you, I don't believe in a picky bride. You like what you like. Yeah. You don't like what you don't like. Yeah. Well, hopefully I find something you like, right? Okay. Yeah, <laughs> yes, <laughs> so definitely. Why do you think you're picky? Like because what there's, happened? There's so many things that I want in a dress and I okay. just don't think I can find that in one dress. Okay. So I am looking for something tight with a very long train, either like a plunge front or an open back, maybe both. Nothing strapless, skinny straps. Maybe a little lace, a little glam, and I'm getting married over the summer. So it's thin fabric, that's so super important to me. So it feels like a long list, but like I have ideas. Okay. Like instantly I'm like, okay, what's the price point that we want to stay around? Between three and 4,000. Okay, what do you guys see her in? Bigger than Cinderella, like pull her up on a horse and carriage and stop the show, take everyone's breath away. Diamonds, sparkly, all that. How tall are you? I'm 4'11". Do you want a ball gown? No. I didn't think so. Yeah. <laughs> I felt I it like We're coming off of your body. If I put that ball gown on, I'm going to look like a child going to prom. OK, so maybe we'll try on one. OK. Or five. Or five? <laughs> now we have to no, try no, no, on no. the ones that you well, want to try yeah, on. We will, yes. But I want to see something that there she wouldn't one. normally. Did there you see one? one? There was one that I was like, all right, I'm willing to try it on. And OK. I don't do you want remember. to show me? Do you remember which one it was? Was it the one in the window? I think it was over here. The one in the window is magnificent. No, the, window. the one, what was in the window the, that you the loved? The one that, oh, it's beautiful. Oh, my oh here, let me help you. It's is that heavier heavy? than me. I know, Jessica probably. It's taller than you. It's exquisite. For sure. Oh okay, this God. is beautiful. She's like, if I'm going to do a ball gown. Yeah, this if. is this is a huge if. Okay. Yeah. Don't get it twisted. I feel like a lot of people are expecting like a huge ball gown, a sick dress, and it's honestly, at this point, I'm like, the wedding shouldn't be about my dress or how much I care about my dress or how other people look at me in my dress. I just want to enjoy the night with my husband. I've got flowers and sparkle and it's super fitted and it's got the sexy plunge. Hopefully it hits all her check marks. Okay. Okay, Jessica. Yeah. All right, I have some good options for okay. you. Is there anything that you're like excited about or is it like, uh, I don't know? Everything to me is like, Blah. This one's Blah. nice. Okay. It's probably easier to displease Jessica than to please her. Mom, imagine your four foot 11 daughter in this. In I, I can, actually. Oh my goodness. It's stunning. 
she's stubborn, but we're hoping maybe we could push her into something that we imagined her as, as her little sister. I always imagined her being like the ballerina, Cinderella, all that. So Me that's too. what I'm gonna push for. Me too. Yeah. We love that look. The bigger the, bigger the sparkle, the better for me. Yeah, but she, she, this beautiful. is exactly what she doesn't want in the big beads. So. Beautiful, just beautiful. I know, but it's her wedding. Oh, boy. It's not our wedding. Yeah, that ball gown that they ended up, you know, wanting me to try on, I took it to the dressing room, but I said, this is not happening. I'm not putting this dress on. I just yeah. feel like I'm going to go to my 13th birthday party with a tiara. No tiaras. I think I'm going to have a huge challenge keeping them on the same page as me. So let's start with this one. This one's brand new. This one's by Yumi Katsera. Okay. So the only thing is, it has a little bit of a thicker strap. Is this strap too thick for you, do you think? No, but no? I'll try it. Okay, good. The only thing I don't like yeah. about this dress is the belt. Okay, but... belt can be removed. Right. That's like easy fix. Okay. I think this appointment is gonna be a little bit challenging only because Jessica's going into this appointment with the mindset of being picky. If you are defeated in the beginning, then it makes it much harder for you to like a dress throughout the entire appointment. It's like silvery. I'm a very gold person. This reminds me of like a got winter it. dress. Okay, got it. Okay, let's keep going. So, okay. thin strap, mm -hmm. 3D flowers, mm -hmm. low front, low back, fit and flare. Okay. And then it's got this, this long train and it's all lined and yeah. sparkle. Okay. What do you think? Yeah, I'll try it. Really, it checks all those boxes from her list. So let's see how Jessica feels in this one. Yeah. Look how long you look. Yeah. How do you feel? It's a, You're allowed to like happening. it. Look. <laughs> things are happening. Well, She's like, what's going on? We actually yeah. like kind of like this one. Yeah, I kind of like it. <laughs> kind of. I like the buttons. The buttons are pretty. Okay, so good. I'll show them. I am loving what I see, but I still feel like there is something missing, that there is this wow factor that I could have. Oh my gosh. Maybe they can tell me something that I'm missing that I just don't see. Wow. Wow, Jessica, that's gorgeous. Okay. Look at the train. Magnificent. Love it. Oh love it. my gosh. Love it. And it's that mermaid fit that I love. It is. Yeah, you love. But do you love the mermaid fit too, right? I do, kind of. I like the, you know. Long train? Yeah. Is it heavy? Like, it's a little heavy. That's one of the things that mm -hmm. I'm kind of iffy on is the weight of the dress. Okay. I like this dress. Okay. I don't love it. I love it. If you couldn't already tell, it's our wedding, so. <laughs> I'm in my first dress and I'm already exhausted. They're going to love me in something no matter what. And I don't think they see the bigger picture here of something that I need to love more than they need to love. 37 years ago, I went to Kleinfeld's and I put my dress on and I knew immediately that was my gown. I put that third dress on and boom, that was it. That was it? Only three? That was it, yep. I love that you're When you put your gown on and you know yeah. it's yours, it just, it's it. For her, it would be so cool for her to buy her daughter's dress here. So hopefully I have the same That's moment that you did. Back, it's Mom. just bringing me back. It is a big deal and I do feel the pressure. When you put your dress on, the rules go out of the window. Right. No, it's like a fiance, you know, throw the checklist out of the window when they make you feel good. Right. That's yeah. how you know. Uh, okay, yeah. all right, let's try let's another one. Let's, let's try another one. Oh my God, that dress is gorgeous. Yeah, I know. Wait, let me let me recap. Yeah. Deep plunge, Yeah. deep back, lightweight train, but long train, and most importantly, lightweight. I'm a little stumped, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not usually stumped. These poor women dealing with me. <laughs> but it's not even so much the list of things that Jessica wants. It's how she's feeling in the gown and the weight of the gown. Wedding dresses are heavy, and I just don't know if I can combine those two things for her right now. Feel this dress. This is super light. Okay. I think she'll like this one. What do you think? Look, I I'm like second so. guessing myself now. I'm well, like, will listen, she Amber, like it? It checks all the boxes. Jessica? Yes. Hello. We Hi. have dresses. We have oh my God. Are you ready? <laughs> and we're yeah. really excited about it too. So first option yeah. is this a one. Martina Liana. Okay. It's similar to the one that you tried on first, I believe. Next is Signore with a lot of beading. And then check out this back. Low back illusion, okay. buttons. Okay. Okay, last um, one is our favorite. This one, Lazaro. Okay. Really, really lightweight. Probably the lightest of them all. Glitter underneath with the floral appliques. I'm trying to read your face and I can't read it. Do you like it or no? 
I don't. No, no, no. no. You know why? Why? I don't like the sparkle. You feel like it's too much? I feel like everything is too much. What I want is too like, much. I don't yeah. want to overwhelm you with dresses. Yeah. You know well, what I mean? I'm already I'm gonna take some. It's just me. I just feel like I'm over shopping. Let's slip this on. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. I feel like I hit the point where they all look the same. And if I were to put every single dress on, I would still not like them. Do you like it? No. No? The whole thing? What is this? It's like low. Like I wish it was like. It could be. You could line it. You don't have to have because you can't really wear underwear when it's like this low, you know? <sighs> no? Ah. That's okay. Let it out. I'm stressing. I'm all over. I'm, I don't know what I want. I thought I did. I don't. Jessica, mm -hmm. you're so pretty. You don't need all of this jizz all you on are, the dress. I think you're right. You literally could go all white, ivory, all clean, sexy, open yeah. back open front and just like be so striking when you enter the room, you know? Yeah. I don't think you need, I, maybe that's it. I agree with Amber. I think I need to break up with Lace. I need to have a breakup talk with all the glitz and the glam and figure it out. We're gonna go home. We're gonna think about this and yeah. come back and try on clean. Okay. Okay? Okay. Nicole? Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm Diane. Nice to, nice meet, to you. meet you. Too. My name is Nicole Burks. I'm from Hibby, Minnesota. I'm here to find my dream dress. And I'm here with my sister-in-law and my mom and my dad. The wedding date I see is very soon. We might have to rush some dresses. My fiance's name is John Marinak. He's a wonderful man. He's everything I ever hoped for. We fell in love fast and furious just a couple months ago, and, and we want to start a family and just be together forever right now. She met him seven weeks ago, and uh, he came and asked me for her hand in marriage two weeks after that. She needs a dress fast. I flew all the way to New York in a private jet with my dad. We set up all these appointments. So far, my taste is totally across the board, so right. this is going to be maybe tough. I'm going to have to try on a lot of dresses. With an indecisive bride and tight timeline, Diane knows she has a long day ahead. Is there somewhere you want to cap it or do we? No caps. No caps. You heard that. <laughs> We're very fortunate in that money can be more, so there doesn't have to be a cap on the dress. I think the sky's the limit. Yeah. She likes to shop and see it all and then go in for the kill. <laughs> With money no object, Nicole is like a kid in a candy store. Wow. Oh, yeah. See? <laughs> See? <laughs> totally. This bride loves to shop, but Diane's challenge will be to make her choose just one dress. I like this one, too. All right. <laughs> the wedding is December 5th in Camille Bay, St. John's, Virgin Islands. We'll fly into St. Thomas in a, uh, in a jet. We've invited about 85 guests. So we're going to move them all there, and then they can come to the wedding. Nicole's ready to present the first gown, and it's a head turner. Sexy. Oh my God. Oh, you're making me have tears in my eyes. I love that dress. Very romantic dress. Gorgeous. Seeing how Nicole is so taken with the dress, Diane wants to gauge the family's reaction. I have to co confer with my panel. <laughs> Your panel. <laughs> so elegant. Gorgeous. Oh, it is. I love the back. Dan? John would fall over. That's, what, that's what I said. I mean, it had to go wow. I thought my dad was going to say, turn around, where are you going, to the bedroom with that or what? But he loved it. The dress wins over dad, but Nicole is not sold. It's almost like I want someone else to tie it on so I can see what it looks like from afar. So that dress felt stunning and sexy, but ultimately I wouldn't have felt fun in that dress, and I do want to have that fun factor. What do you think? I like it. It's too much fun to try in wedding dresses. Why not do it? She doesn't want to miss any possibilities. I like this one, too. This is too hard of a decision. Five dresses, and Nicole has yet to be wowed. Two hours later, and well into the next appointment slot, Diane pulls a gown that finally has her bride tickled pink. <laughs> Look at her. Talk about pretty and pink. Oh, I love how fun this dress yeah, is. This will be an all in ivory. I love that other dress, but this one's fun. This one is fun. Everyone likes it, but Dad. Dan, you're being very quiet. It's wow. Well. Pink dress was maybe too much for personality. I was hoping that it wasn't her favorite. Daddy's girl needs daddy's approval. Well, I really think she's looking at me to see how um, I react, but also how John will react. And without his blessing, she now has second thoughts. 
The other one was so romantic, and this one's fun, and like, yeah. I want to be both. So I can we find the next both? Nicole wants sexy and fun, so Diane pulls a gown she hopes captures both. I really like this one. That is gorgeous. <laughs> Told you. I feel like this is getting the combo look that I Told want. you. Okay, ready? Wait. Oh, wow. look at this. It's combining oh, things, yes. isn't it? This is combining all the looks. The gown is a hit. I'm really overwhelmed right now. Dad, what do you think? I took my breath away. Really? Yeah, did he have three times? He's telling that. Seriously? took my breath Seriously? away, yes. Look, you have everybody crying. <laughs> this is the dress. This is her expression. Oh, here you go, Nancy. <laughs> They're all standing there crying. I'm loving it. I love it. Love it on you. Right? Love, love it. it. Love it. Mm -hmm. I like this one. Yeah, this is definitely. Finally, it looks like Nicole has found her dress, and Diane has landed a sale. So then this is the dress you want to wear in your wedding day. This is the one. Well, I have to go to one more store. Then suddenly, she can't commit. <laughs> but we have but everything here. One. She didn't like the idea that I wanted to try on more dresses. This is the one she sees herself getting married in. Good. Oh, right there. <laughs> and yes. I still have to go to one And she still store. wants to go to one more store. Is she crazy? Well, we're not. We came to New York, that's why. I set up all these appointments. I can't just throw the appointments aside. I need to go there. But so if I Okay, need to come whatever back you feel. Or... It's not the case of winning the parents over. It was Nicole. Nicole, in this case, is definitely the one that has to be won over. I feel a little pushed right now, and I don't like that feeling. I want the final say to be my say. I think in her mind, it was like, oh, it's going to end. I have to stop. I can't try more on. After a four-hour appointment, Diane hates to see her business go to another salon. But Nicole heads out anyway, hoping to return before the day is over. <laughs> It's a half hour before closing time, and upstairs, Bride Nicole is back and ready for more. She wants to continue shopping. We would like to try on a couple of the dresses that I didn't get a chance to try on. I've already spent at least four hours today with her. Now it's about 20 to 6, but I'm with a bride right now. The thing I'm running into is there's a Monique shop right in Edina, right where I live. It has okay. every Monique dress there is to offer, and so if I can't try on a couple more dresses before I leave here, then I would just go there. And she's pretty much almost threatening me that, you know, well, if I can't try all these dresses on, you know, there's a Monique Lullier where I live. Diane is relying on the fashion director to accommodate what is essentially a new appointment. The only thing I could offer is let me see if maybe Randy is available and she could try on some more dresses. Some girls enjoy the process of shopping. They want to see how it looks when they sit, when they stand, when they turn, when they pose. So some girls are a little more indecisive than others. This is a different, oh. Oh. Well. This is different too. I like this one better than the other one that I just had on. So I like this one better than the other one. Like you feel sexy in this dress. The store has officially closed, but Nicole is still shopping. At least she's come back around to her favorite gown from before. That's the dress I love. Come yes. On. Hands down. Oh, this yeah. isn't her dress. I am so lost. Uh, right? Yes. Where's the veil? Let me get a veil. <laughs> okay. The one she had on earlier. Here we go. Nicole is so focused on finding her dress and wanting to try on dresses and wanting that experience that I think she kind of becomes oblivious to everything around her. Now, if this isn't it, I'm lost. I think she's kind of unaware that the salon has closed. If this, if this isn't it, I think that we need to call an end to today. Her family's exhausted, and we're kind of out of time. I don't want you to make a rush decision, and if you don't feel like this is your dress, I want you to go home and sleep on it. I do think Nicole is very privileged. I'm serious. You're, you're joking. <laughs> no, I'm serious, because it's we're, we're closed like 20 minutes now. I know you are. That's why I'm laughing. I wish they would have kept this door open longer. I think she is under the impression she can have anything she wants. Dad, can you park your jet for the night? Yeah, it doesn't go tomorrow until tomorrow. That's good. Bride Nicole has spent hours admiring herself in wedding gowns. Well past closing time and exhausting her visit, she's still in front of the mirror. Randy's about to call her bluff. My job is to make her make a decision about that wedding gown. I wasn't very happy. They were rushing me. 
I don't want you to make a rush decision, and if you don't feel like this is your dress, I want you to go home and sleep on it. And as soon as I said, walk away from the dress, she's like, no, 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 no. I don't want to take it off. It's beautiful, it's romantic, it's a rich fabric, it shows off your waist, it's a beautiful neckline. It's everything you ask for. I have brides that want to look beautiful on their wedding day, and they always think that there's another dress that's going to make mm -hmm. them look more beautiful. And you know what? Sometimes it's not true. This is it, Nicole. This is it. This yep, is it. This is it. Okay. I want you to look in there and tell me, is this your dress? <laughs> <laughs> I want you to look in there and tell me, is this your dress? This is my dress. Are we getting it? Yes. Are you saying yes? Yes. Is this like, yes, this is my dress? <laughs> oh, Cola. <laughs> oh, God, he's going to cry now. <laughs> I'm happy. I'm happy for you. I knew this was your dress. Uh, at least in my heart. In his heart and in my wallet, Even that is your dress. <laughs> I don't know those other ones. That's just how I am. Nicole and I have a relationship that is very strong. Seeing my daughter in a bridal dress, it stopped my heart. She's going to not be my little girl anymore. I can imagine walking down the aisle in this dress. He's going to cry. There's not words to describe how he's going to feel. Hi. Who do we have with us? This is my mom, Joanne. Hi. I'm Lizzie, my mom. Hello, nice hello. To meet you. Well, talk to me about what we're looking for today. Well, we're obviously very excited about the Allison dress. Yes, you're standing in the right place, <laughs> right. Mama. Right. I feel like it's just very me. It's very you, so tell me what that means. I want to feel timeless, but I want to have something that's special. And we love the bows. Oh, we yes. love, love the bows. The bows. <laughs> How could we you not love, love a bow? Love drama, drama, yeah, drama, right? right? Yeah. <laughs> If I had to describe myself, I would say I'm outgoing, I'm bubbly, I love being around people, I'm indecisive. Um, what budget are we working with today? We're thinking around 25. Okay. But we're open, you know, so. <laughs> if we love it. Yeah, right. <laughs> All right, ladies, okay. you can head to our pedestal. Okay, thank you. And next time you see her, she'll be in a wedding Can't gown. Wait. Yes. Okay, thank you. <laughs> okay. Well, since we're here for Allison Webb, we have her gowns right here. Is there anything that we saw that we immediately want to try? So definitely want to try on the ones that I've been thinking about. Yes. I like a little glitz, so mm -hmm. maybe this. Yes, Do we want to pull her into the sure. room? Yes, let's do yes. her. I've been eyeing this. I feel like it might not have the like sparkle I'm looking for, but I, I need to try it on. Yeah, let's check our boxes, see something totally clean, yes. right? I think going into today, my biggest challenge will be actually saying yes and not wanting to keep looking. Because I have been wanting this for a long time. I think when I met Mitchell, my fiance, the first thing I thought about was I could marry this person. He is honestly just the best person in the world. Yes. He lights up a room. It's easy, it's fun. We are best friends. We are getting married in almost exactly a year from now. And I feel like once I have the dress solidified, I'll get even more and more excited for the big day. I'm so excited that you love Allison Webb because her designs are so fun. They're beautiful. Any of them calling to you to try on first? I think I need to start here. Yeah, we've been talking about her, yes. we've been looking at her, let's get in her. The Emberly dress kind of seems to be fitting all the elements that I want. It's crisp and classic and gorgeous, but it has this beautiful sparkle, and so I know that I need to try this on first. Peter! Take a look Oh my at gosh. That. Mama. That sounds promising. <laughs> oh, I'm loving the sleeves. Mm -hmm. Obviously, on the hanger, you're like, what? But the right. sleeves, and then you can take them off. Exactly. I hope we like it. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Here I go. <gasps> oh, my Oh, my God. God. Oh, oh, my. <laughs> You look like a princess. Oh, look, here it's I go. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing. Oh, we just started. All right, this was fast, and we're done. <laughs> One and done. Wow. I mean, the and Peter says the sleeves will be tailored up here, but I didn't think right. that I would like the sleeve, but it adds such a fun look. That is... I am speechless. That is beautiful. You know what? It's one of a kind. Absolutely. It's, it's absolutely... Yeah, I was saying, we don't have anything else like That's this. That's a this showstopper. Is... And yeah. I love that cut on you. I didn't think I was going to like it that much. Oh. And that train in the back? I love it. I actually feel like... I love this. I could leave in with this and be so content. It's... I know. <laughs> Let's turn to the mirror. So... Oh. We have three looks in one here because this train comes right off 
Ooh. Wow. Just elegant. Beautiful. You could do like a train for ceremony, sleeves for reception, both for Ooh. ceremony. There's so you can style this. Oh, Ooh. we didn't even. Thank oh, you. hello. <laughs> wow, we didn't even yeah. try it. Okay. I love the sleeve. We've got yeah. more to try, but That's holy mama. I'm not sure that she's going to be um. able to top that. <laughs> I'm loving the first dress, but of course I'm second guessing like, is this really, is this really it? How could the first dress be the one? You cried too. I did. <laughs> I know. I love everything about it. We're going to check our boxes. We're going to see what else we have, but I don't know if this is a beatable dress. You didn't think you were going to cry with that dress. I know. It's the sleeves. So next gal, I'm actually interested to see her because she's a different silhouette for us. Mm -hmm. So this is going to be like a whole different world. Courtney is indecisive because she's very much a girly girl and she wants to be unique and stand out. I think she needs the glitz and glam, but she also wants the elegant, classic, traditional look. I actually feel kind of like runway. Yeah. It's just very couture. Very. Well, she says very couture. Is it beating out our first one? I don't, I don't think so. Oh, she don't like it. She don't like it. Maybe we do. I think that the first dress is definitely still on my mind, but this dress is beautiful. I need to see what my entourage thinks. I think my mom's gonna really love it. I think that this is what she kind of envisioned me in. Crisp, classic, but has the drama. Oh, my red carpet leg. look. <laughs> don't love it as much as the first. Don't, okay. Yeah, don't, don't love it. I said, I feel like the first one's still definitely on our minds, but this is so yeah, unique. I love, love the top. I don't love the top. You look stunning in it, but I think that we're adding a little too much fabric on top of our shape because we have such a nice oh, natural shape that's a good that thought. we don't have to add this skirt. We don't have to do all right. that. I love it. Not for my wedding. Easy. Yeah. Thank Onward you. Onward and upward. I can really tell that he's got a feel for my style. So this is, we have her at 4,500. Okay. She's worth a shot. Yeah. I think it's gorgeous. It's got that big bow element that we're excited about. So if I try this dress on and I'm not head over heels in love, then I will definitely put back on that first dress. I actually think there might be potential with this. Mm-hmm. Wait till you see with this bow. The bow. Oh my. Wow. All the way down. Okay. To... This is worth a show. Oh. Very elegant. Oh. And we got a big bow. Oh. Wow. It was a Peter pick. Good job, Oh, Peter. wow. Wow, that's What do you think? Stunning. It's beautiful. Bow. Look at the back. I know. Oh, wow. I love it. Oh, I really love it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh this is only a second time. I do. I love it, Court. I was just going to say, I was missing the glitter. I, do you love it, Lynn? I do. It's so cute. So we're in a different designer here. This is Sarah Nori. Okay. Sarah Nori is very classic, very timeless. She loves a bow. Wow. I do, I do love it. Wow. How does it compare with I, the first one? I think I love it more. Everybody is really loving this dress. I can tell it's a great dress. Everyone's so excited. I'm not. I, I'm torn. Like, I love it. I don't, I love the bow, but I just feel like I really need to have a bridezilla moment. Not like, on the camera. I don't know. I feel like I just like I'm not feeling a hundred. I'm feeling confused. If I'm being truthful to you, this dress didn't make me cry the way it made you cry. Oh wow. Yeah, I want to put the first one okay. back on. Okay, hundred percent. I think she's feeling overwhelmed. We did come here for Allison Webb. And so I think getting that out of her head is really hard. Mm -hmm. Love you. Love you. I should give you a hug. You know, she hasn't gotten emotional and she is an emotional person. And she, I think she thinks that she will be emotional in the dress. I 100% think she needs to get back in that dress. Okay, we're back. Oh, you look so pretty. <laughs> Aww. Oh. That's there. That's You're so cute. 
I feel like it's like a showstopper. Your face oh. alone shows it. Too. You know what? That's it. That's, <laughs> yeah. It's. I love it. I'm not crying, but I don't know why. You don't oh. have the veil on yet. You don't have the full picture. Oh, I don't know why you wouldn't be crying. I really think this is our gown. I think we're just close to that yes. So I actually want to get Allison Webb on a video chat because she's such a fan. Okay, my dear. So I do have a friend here who would love to see you in okay. this gown. This is Allison. <gasps> Oh my God. Beautiful. Thank you. I didn't cry until I saw your face. Not fair. The cool thing about the Emberly gown is you can kind of style it to make it whatever you want. Yep. You can take the sleeves off, put them on, have the watch hoe on. I don't know. Are you wearing the watch hoe right now? She is. Amazing. Yes. What type of veil do you envision with this? I think the dress is so dramatic. I would just yeah. do a really long cathedral clean Ooh. veil. Honestly, that's when you'll really feel like a bride. Veil. I that's know. Such magic to them. Yes. I needed to try on some of the other dresses to make sure that the first dress really was the one. Okay. I needed that confirmation of I need to put it back on a second time, add the veil, see how we feel, and then seal the deal. <gasps> Mom! <laughs> Oh my goodness. Their reaction was telling me what I needed to know as the indecisive bride. We're gonna turn. Oh my God, Peter, I love you, you're the best. <laughs> okay. Wow, look at the back. Am I ready? You look ready. <laughs> okay. I think I need a countdown. Three, Three two, two, one. A hundred percent. Done. Courtney. <laughs> Thank you, you're such an angel. Oh my God. I really do see myself, um, oh my gosh, wow. I really do see myself walking down the aisle to my fiance Mitch wearing this dress. Courtney, are you saying yes to the dress? I'm saying yes to the dress!